The Volkswagen Group is one of the largest automakers in the world, but in India has seen poor sales due to the lack of relevant products in the mass market space, be it from Czech brand Skoda or VW itself. All that is set to change though, with the Volkswagen Group announcing a massive 1 billion euro investment for the Indian market. The investment will be exhausted by 2020 and will mainly be used to localize the VW Group's much touted modular MQB platform for Indian use. What we are getting is the MQB A0 platform, which underpins the likes of the current generation Skoda Octavia. It will help move a lot of cars from being assembled to being fully manufactured in India. The Indian car market is expected to grow over 5 million units by 2020 and the VW Group intends to have about 5% market share of that market by 2025. This means it will have to be competitive on pricing which demands very high levels of localization. We will localize roughly 90% of all components and parts for our new products here in India. And this is why we are setting up a new project house for research and development, which is, by the way, currently under construction already in Pune, and we are going to hire people for that already now. Uh, and so we will develop this car with Indian engineers, with Indian workers it will be built, with Indian suppliers, which will make the parsing components for our Indian customers. And I think this is the best approach here in this very competitive and price sensitive market. The reins of new car development for the Indian market have been handed over to Skoda and the first product launch will be a compact SUV. Most likely a production version of the Skoda Vision X concept, the new SUV will have its global debut in India in 2020 and production is due to begin in early 2021. We are starting now firstly with a mid-size SUV, very competitive. But uh, we did not rule out uh, a hatchback, we do not rule out anything what is really competitive. Uh, but um, we have uh, to now start with a very strong offer and this will be a mid-size SUV. The SUV from Skoda will be accompanied by a mid-size SUV from Volkswagen, likely the T-Cross compact SUV. The T-Cross concept has been shown as a convertible, but the production car will be a roofed five-seater. While the exterior design on both these cars will be considerably different, both of them will share parts and be based on the same architecture. Both these SUVs will then be followed by two more SUVs, one each from Skoda and Volkswagen, details of which aren't clear just yet. But they are likely to be a tad longer, yet positioned below the Tiguan and the Kodiak. But they will use the same platform, which of course could spawn more products from Skoda, VW and Audi too, including a likely Vento sedan replacement. The MQB platform is already ready to take on electric power trains from the likes of a mild hybrid to an actual series hybrid and even an all-electric powertrain. But VW will only go electric in India if policy and customer environments make it conducive. We will see uh, this market turning from, from, from uh, internal combustion engine into more and more electrified vehicles, but also CNG from an Indian perspective is a very attractive alternative. And uh, so um, that there will be big changes and uh, the prerequisites of course have to be taken by the government and by the authorities itself. If we don't have the infrastructure for the new technology, uh, it does not make sense from a customer point of view. With the Dieselgate scandal tainting VW's long history, it is no surprise that the German auto giant wants to concentrate more on cleaner technology. The first engine on offer will be the new 1.0-litre TSI petrol motor in its highest spec, making around 115 bhp of peak power. Expect high mileage claims too. So encouraging and exciting news, it's too bad we'll have to wait till 2020 for all the fun to begin.